Abstract versus Optical is a journey started one year ago on some unspoiled Indonesian environment, redirecting myself to Singapore and Philippines, eventually leading me back to the place where I first encountered the most sincere art of the 90s, China. Nor China nor any country gathered under the definition of Southeast Asia has ever expressed a so coherent research in art around the absence of any formal shape. Even through their darkest time, those lands have never challenged their audience with the so explicit lack of formal reference. Not until now. Therefore, the aim of this show is to evidence such booming of abstraction in regions where this practice hasn't been the general road yet. On one hand, the new generation of artists is quite involved in this kind of painting. On the other hand, many mid-career artists are leaving figurativism behind. They are strongly involved in experimenting new and innovative ways of expressing themselves. Questioning their own position in the world, they start from heartfelt topics, follow unpredictable directions and get to surprising solutions. How difficult it is to understand in a direct manner that a brush stroke truly is the visual consequence of an inner instinct. Abstract versus optical doesn't want to oppose, or rather bring together. Bring together ideas, feelings, actions, and artist generations. Bagaimana aku mendapat uh, penulis garis? Jadi aku memperlakukan garis itu, mewarnai garis itu, mengasih efek garis itu. Jadi ini semua tetap garis. Mulai dari tradisi orang Bali yang mencari awal dari sebuah generasi, mencari awal, mencari dasar sebuah peradaban budaya bisa. Uh, sehingga kita melakukan hal-hal yang dilakukan orang se seperti garis itu sudah digariskan benar kata-kata garis itu garis yang sudah digariskan Marco Mazzucconi is a brilliant inventor of forms since 1985 he was a recognized promise of the young italian art Along with few others of his generation, Marco represents the prototype of the global artist who has basically erased the history to adopt geography, who has finally abdicated the utopian and unrealizable presumption of truth in favor of a simple I like it. The body of new works presented here is Esther Nonqui, being not here, as we are going to describe them through the words of Marco himself. Desire to be puzzled, to get lost, not physically or chemically, rather to get lost in an image, a scene, focusing on a tiny detail, a few pixels, and then enlarging it, stretching these pixels to reform an image, a new apparently abstract reality, without any focus. I repeat this simple Photoshop process on a canvas, stretched on the cylinder of a large lock, spreading the oil paint in large patches, and then I apply the brush in a single very long pass, which, thanks to the mechanical movement of the cylinder itself over time, it amalgamates the entire surface of the painting and brings me back to the longed for condition of being not here. Jigger's art practice is characterized by his idea to play with the facement and vandalization making use of the oil color, the spray paint, and the rough interventions on the canvases, which he uses to burn and, in some cases, even to cut. Jigger's artwork springs from a painted canvas where Kruitz copies the Flemish and post-Renaissance masters. Apparently, without a logical scheme, the artist applies the dense oil color layer by layer, not hiding, rather mystifying the classical backdrop. 
The author hereby explored the concept of failure in the visual dialogue between outer surface and the inner content, between past and present, figuration and abstraction. Since his childhood, Rangaputra has been interested in painting. Painting is poor pleasure for him. He started to paint when he was at the senior high school. Influenced by some important exhibitions in Jogjakarta, today Ranga has already joined plenty of shows in his country and also been awarded in 2012. Anselm Kiefer, George Bazelitz, Basquiat, Jean Dubuffet, Tapie are some of legend artists, as he likes to call them, that have inspired him. Most of Rang's artworks bring out his interest for daily issues such as personal routines. Monochrome colors are his typical landmark, whereas colors bring the nuance of deep reflection. Ranga likes to play with texture and explore new materials such as asphalt, car paint and spray. street artist Ferenczyki reflects about the pop culture of the 21st century, exploring textual elements, collecting logos, brands and symbols of mass culture in order to prepare them on canvas, charging them with hyperbolic attributes and parody. In his artworks, the urban experience and the ever-increasing consumerist culture we encounter in our daily life is crashed in a loud splash of colors, satirizing the contemporary art system that has become, for some artists, a start system. The recognition of labels and traditional art subjects at once brings a feeling of relief and sense of pleasure in the viewer. Yet the fragmentation and the blast of symbols remind us the pain of being bombarded in an overcrowded urban society. Van 
Zhongjie creates landscapes suspended between the real and the ideal dimensions imbued with intimacy and meditative tones. For him, painting is a thinking process. While completing any piece of work, every decision he makes is in favor of nothing but his own growth. It is never to prove any theory, to make any statement in order to progress onto anything else on purpose. Slowly but constantly, he gradually removes layer by layer any excess information. After pain and doubt, his paintings have become more abstract and he has turned them into the meeting point of pure substance and elusive visions. Light plays a key role in these abstractions, dominating the surface and becoming the landscape itself.